In this video, it's kind of a continuation of conversions of mass and weight from standard to metric. And so I'm going to be using the conversion from pounds to kilograms. But I may have to convert within the, uh, the system itself. So if you look at the first example here, i got 4,000 pounds, and I want to convert that into metric tons. That's where this NES comes from. Remember, that's the long ton. And so it's 4,000 pounds. I don't have a way to convert that directly into tons. But I can convert pounds into kilograms. So I was in pounds. I want to be in kilograms. And so my conversion factor is there's 2.2 .2 pounds in one kilogram. And it's entirely up to you, but you can always go back and use this other NIST conversion. And it's more accurate, but it just takes longer. And you're really not going to get that much of a difference in your answer. So if we do this conversion, that will cancel out pounds. I'm left in kilograms, but I want to be in, in long tons. So I need another conversion that goes from kilograms, which is where I was, to tons, which is long ton. And this is 1,000 kilograms per one long ton. And to do these conversions, you just multiply straight across the top, divide straight across the bottom. So I'm going to take 4,000 times 1 times 1 divided by 2.2 divided by 1,000. If you put this directly into a calculator that does order of operations, you will get the answer. And so if I, I've got a TI-84, take 4,000, multiply by 1, multiply by 1, divide by 2.2, .2, divide by 1,000. And I get 1.818, and it just the 8.1 keeps on repeating but roughly 1.818 tons, or little t. And that's the answer. And so that's how we're going to convert. Now, on this other example here, we've got to convert within the metric system and then convert to the standard. And so I know how to convert from kilograms to pounds, so I need to get this guy to kilograms. And so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and run my continuum out here. So I have my unit, and then I'm not really considering the, all the smaller ones, but the bigger ones I am. So I've got deca, hecto, kilo. And so I'm going to run from grams to kilograms. So I've got to move my, got to move my decimal point three to the left. So here's my decimal point, one, two, three. So it goes there. Sorry, that, that pops up every now and then to back up my flash drive. And so now, that's where I'm going to be starting. So I start it there. 8965.223 kilograms. I was in kilograms. I want to be in pounds. And so I've got 2.2 .2 pounds per one kilogram. Kilograms cancel when that happens. And then I just multiply across the top and divide across the bottom. So 8965.223 times 2.2 .2 equals 19,723. And then I've got 0.4906. I'm just going to call it 0.5 pounds. So about 19,723 and a half pounds. Okay, that takes us through that. And these conversions, again, they work exactly the same way every time. So once you get it down for one measurement, they all work the same. The only thing that's going to change are the numbers. And that's mostly because of the standard, uh, the standard way of doing things. If you do them the metric way, the numbers don't change. They're always the same. 